are your local experts in assisted living. And today we are talking with Amy Doro from Hillcrest about being a caregiver. And an upcoming event that can help enhance that care. And she has a special guest. It's Kate Kalis of the Alzheimer's Association. Good morning to you both. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, well, Amy, if anybody knows about being a caregiver, it's you and your staff at um, Hillcrest Assisted Living. Talk a little bit about why it's important to focus on a topic like this. Well, care is so important to us, and that's why we team up with the Alzheimer's Association. They are the true experts of Alzheimer's and dementia. We do assisted living as well, but if you have the most education, it, it eliminates a lot of behaviors, it eliminates a lot of conditions that you just don't need. Uh, dementia is bad enough on itself, so we rely heavily on them, and that's why we like to sponsor them. There's an upcoming event. Um, they just have so much of the newest information. Now, the conference is coming up. What can people expect, and who should be attending? The conference is for both professional and family caregivers, so um, we're looking at both audiences, and people can expect a wide range of topics. Um, there's information about how to reduce your risk factors for developing Alzheimer's disease. So if you have a loved one and you're concerned about your genetic potential for developing the disease, there's that information. And there's also information, um, like you mentioned, about how to handle behaviors and how to communicate with someone throughout each stage of the disease. Um, and just a lot of good information and tips for caregivers to help enhance that caregiving experience. Talk about the experience of being a family caregiver. We've had been through that in my family as well with my grandmother, but it is something very yes. difficult if you don't yes. necessarily haven't moved into Amy's world yet. Absolutely. It's a 24-7 job. It's, it's very demanding. Um, and caregivers experience a lot of mm -hmm. stress um, while trying to care for their loved one. And so for them to have this information and also to just have a network of support and to be in the room with other caregivers and learn from each other's experiences is incredibly valuable. Sure. And Amy, to start that conversation of maybe when is the right time to look into some assistance? And, you know, we always try to promote staying at home as long as possible because mm -hmm. home is the best place. Um, and that's why we do work heavily with them as well. But you know if their safety is in jeopardy, that is the time to start looking for a place. And like I said, the most education you can get for it gives them the highest quality of care we can give them as well. And I, Melaine and I always say, like, we are looking forward to your next party because you do make... <laughs> <laughs> assisted living by Hillcrest like living at home it very much so <laughs> I, we love what we do we have very very good staff and it is their home we're very privileged to work in their home so the residents that is their home yeah and partnering with community organizations I know you take a lot of pride in making sure experts are available at your facility and that they're training your staff as well right we do pass that on to the families as well offer support groups um, it, we always refer Alzheimer's Association and any other organization that does stand up for something like that. And I was actually just at Hillcrest um, twice this month to do trainings for um, the Family Council. So still educating family caregivers um, for some of their residents, which is great that they, mm -hmm. they partner with us and offer that yeah. to their families. You know, I never even thought of that. Even if your loved one is in an assisted living facility, you still need to be an expert. Absolutely. Right. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. All right. Well, let's take a look at the caregiver conference. It's coming up November 8th from 8 to 4. It's at the Rock Garden in Green Bay. And you can register through the Alzheimer's Association of Greater Wisconsin, and that's alz.org slash GWWI. And you will find three facilities in the Hillcrest family, Alloway Parkside Village 1 and 2, and Brilliant West Haven. For more information, you can reach out right to Amy at 850-5235, or here's the number for Holly, 660-0835, assistedlivingbyhillcrest.com.